I appreciate the people having gone through the mazes leaving a trail behind. Alright, now to get over that. Huh. <laughs> and then I have one in the Elven Death Mountain region, it looks like. Alright, let's see. Wasn't there a rock that maybe fell somewhere down around here? Maybe. Possibly. It's storming. That's fine. I can literally just put on my lightning helm and be done. Where is it? Yeah, there it is. Lightning group. Lightning no longer affects me. Which is very nice. I do like that lightning no longer affects me. Oop, yep, there we go. There's one. Fall into the ground. Where are you gonna land, buddy? Alright, and there's things here to build a raft, if you feel so inclined. But, but, we can literally just take that up into the sky and maybe glide over? We might be able to just glide over with enough luck. Alright. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, I think we're close enough to where we can get over there just by gliding. I think we got this, guys. I think we got this. Let's see, so we'll wait for this to reach its apex and then just glide on over. It's reached its apex. Alright. Well then, let's go! Alright. Should we start at the beginning of the shrine, or should we just try to land right on the shrine? Let's see if we can just land right on the shrine. I think it's right there. I want to say it's right there. Where is it at? Oh. Shrine of light. Oh, that was my fault. Uh, nope, there's a grate there. Okay. And then... Grate there. Yep, nope, we gotta go through the maze. Okay, that's fine. We'll start at the beginning of the maze. Because there may be clues on how to get through the beginning of the maze. Because there was at the last one, ice fruit. What does this say? Examine... It's engraved with ancient Zonai text. You can't make out what it says. Okay. What about the journal? Research log, day one. It took us two days to reach this isolated island. Though the ruins stood before us, we were too exhausted to explore. Though wary, Toro was able to decipher the Zonai writing on the stone slab. The dragon ring slumbers in the labyrinth's depth. Wake it and ye shall receive due compensation. While his translation provided me with renewed vigor, Toro shortly thereafter... Fell ill with fatigue. After seeing him off on his way home, I swore to tackle the ruins myself. The acorns and nuts I have prepared to mark my path should see to it that I do not get lost inside. Though I am alone, I need to work hard enough for both Toro and myself. Okay. Alright. Yep, nope, there you got acorns for us to guide us through this. Alright. Next, acorn. Or chicory nut. There it is. Alright, buddy. I wonder if halfway through this is going to change into chicory nuts. Acorn. Nope, that looks like a dead end. Yep. Chicory nut, acorn. And then... Okay, so it wants you to kind of set up the logs to cross the wa deeper waters, but not too concerned with it, honestly. Let's actually put on the Zora suit. Alright. Just to make sure if we come across some really deep water, 
for extended period. Yep, there's some chicory nuts. Alright. Just so then that way if there's a lot of deep water that we can't cross. Because it's just so much of it. Hopefully the uh, Sora suit will make it a little easier. Alright, this is already there. I'm curious. Is there anything underneath this? Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, that's fine. Also, the last time I was in one of these, there was a gloom spawn. So I'm like checking around the corners to see if it shows up. Alright, here is another nut. There's the next nut. There's the next nut. Nope. Alright, here we go. Oh, we're getting closer because there's all this gloom now. Which that might have been what happened is that Toro touched some of the gloom. Because they didn't realize yet what it was. And that's why he was so fatigued. And got sickly. Mm. Alright, this way. I mean, I figured it would be this way because there was just like the giant water puddle, but... Have to make sure, because sometimes it'll lead you to weird places. Alright. So, this way. Yes. Alright. Uh, block? Move the block? Is that what it wants us to do? Yeah, that's what it wanted us to do, was move the block. Weird. wonder how he moved it. Oh, goody. Are you about to run out of nuts and acorns? Research log day two. I walk carefully, avoiding the... Sh stirring gloom. Just one touch and it will invade the body in the blink of an eye. It was a wise decision to send Taro home, allowing him to continue our trek, and his condition may have proven... From proved fatal. What exactly is this strange gloom? More importantly, have they found the princess and her swordsman who delved beneath Hyrule Castle to investigate it? I can only pray for their safety. Aw, thanks. It's very kind and sweet of him. This way. Right? This way, right? Open it's this way. Yes, there we go. Next nut. Uh, up the ladder. Excellent. I wonder if in the third one I'm gonna find the dude that's been, like, trekking all over this place. And he's like, oh, hey, how you doing? I need to break that. I feel like I need to set that on fire. I feel like I need to set that on fire. If for no other reason, so then that way it doesn't cause me trouble later. There's a hole up there. I mean, that's not where he went, but it might be a shortcut. I don't know. We'll find out. I wonder if there's going to be a day three log up at the top. There is. Hello. Research log day three. My searching has finally led me to a Zonai relic. I must hurry back and tell Toro all about it. Though I must admit my curiosity remains piqued, I am not sure if I'm quite ready to leave these ruins. For instance, I can see a lower level from this room. Just how is one supposed to reach it? I mean, I can tell you how to reach it, buddy. You're not going to like it. Alright, here's the shrine. Activate. And then we'll activate the other thing. Uh... Leslie. Yes, I am seeing your message, Leslie. Sorry, it, I didn't... It's not directly in front of my face, so I have to go through. But yeah, Leslie Henderson, 
I'm doing really well. I hope you're doing well. We're just working on going through collecting all the shrines and tears of the kingdom because that's one of the side quests is to go through and get all of the shrines. So that's our current endeavor. All right, so this should be everything in the Akala region now. Yep. And we'll go ahead and activate the other one just because, well, we're already here. And see what it has in store for us. Skip. Night of Blessing. And we're back to full hearts. Here we go. Perfect. Skip, skip, skip. Alright, so. That's taken care of. The next one is uh, Chakas. Located near the southeast of, on a small plateau that overlooks the sea. Mount Lanayru. Oh, it's probably this one right here. Okay. So let's go ahead, go there, and we'll just walk out and head, glide down that way. That sounds like a plan. We'll just glide down that way. Oop, super cold. Super cold. I need clothes. Because this wetsuit definitely is not clothes for this place. Alright. Uh, nope, I need to go the other way. This way? Those are there for, you know, the people that put up this, uh, tower. Because they were like, it's freezing here, we're dying of the cold. Oh wow, everything froze. Immediately frozen, everything. Uh, no, actually that's Zelda. There's Nadra. Alright, nope, not that way. This way? Yes, there it is. I can see it from here. Excellent. Probably could have stopped at the shrine and gotten more hearts, but meh. Mo, I heard a baby. Hi, princess. Winner. She's like, I heard it, mommy. I heard it fall. Where'd it go? Alright. This one. And then there's one more in this area. Alright, where? Okay, there it is. I was about to say, don't lose track of it. Hi, Una. Nearby below. Yeah, not not quite below enough, guys. Oh, look. Is that a bloopy as well? It looks like a bloopy as well. Nope, I'm too close. And I keep missing, and Tulin got in the way. There we go. Last one! All right. All right, Mr. Bloopy ran up that way, it looks. But we're not here for Mr. Bloopy. We are here for shrines. If shrines happen to be in caves, then we'll look for the booble frogs. But otherwise, we are not here for caves, my dear. I could put an X there. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that, so then that way I don't forget. An X... Uh, this. This is what I've been using for caves of interest, right? I had one somewhere, I thought. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Caves of interest. At least I'm pretty sure that's what I put there. That's a well. Okay, well, that's what we're going to use for that. The stars are things of interest. And the diamonds that are not the gemstone diamonds are caves. Alright, in we go. In we go. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I'm having a wonderful day so far. And I have 
been enjoying running around collecting all the shrines for the side quests that we got to complete. Jailbreak. Mm, all right. All right. I will I will look to see what this is about. I don't see a chest in either one of those things. So, okay. Can I climb up a block? I cannot climb up a block. Hmm. I can't climb up that block. Okay. I was like, what is that smashed against? Alright. So I know I can't climb up. Ooh, wait, I can ascend though, right there. Right here. Okay, here we go. Exit. Alright, is there a chest there? Nope. Yes, baby girl? Una? Morale? Hi, princess. It's like, let me put the treat down so then I can get it. I am the princess. There we go. Una. Yes, you can come over here and get it. She's like, but I don't want to come over here and get it, mommy. It's right. Uh, right there, baby girl. There you go, sweet princess. There you go. She was out there mooing, making noises. She's like, did a treat fall down there, mommy? No, mommy's not dropped another treat down there recently. All right. She's like, but you could have. I could have, and you are setting so pretty. You are setting so pretty, Una. Right there. Right here. There you go. Good girl. Good girl, Una. Uh, here. Yes, sweet princess. She's like, okay, I'm done. Yep, that's where I needed to be. Uh, I don't think there's a chest in there. If there is, I don't care. I do not care enough right now. Okay. So I need to balance that very precariously. Or... can't attach that. I can't get it to go up any higher. Mmm, I don't like this. Not one bit. Okay. Okay. Here we go. I balanced it just right. Oh, there's a chest. And this is the jailbreak portion. Like, I gotta figure out how to get out of there. Nope. Alright, let's get the chest first. Maybe, possibly. Can I... use this? This kind of... Uh, nope, I don't think I can. Just... Oh wait, I know what I can do. Drop that. Lift it up. Hold for a few seconds. Down it goes. Rewind. Up it goes. There we go. Magical staff. Yeah, nope, don't want that. Here we go. And then we just pick this back up, bring it back over here, lay it across, thought right there was good, hopefully it's good again. Uh, nope, I need to get it a little bit closer to the edge, like this edge. About right there should do it. 
I really do not like it whenever it changes it to that top down angle for the ascend because it just makes it very difficult for me to figure out where I'm at. Alright. So. Alright. Okay. Yeah, that's all I gotta do. Jailbreak. That's why it's titled Jailbreak. Oh, there we go. Like, I understand why it changes perspective because it wants to show you, hey, this is how you get up there. But it's, I don't like it. I don't like it whenever it changes my camera view on me. It makes things difficult for me. Alright, another one down. And then the Jong Yu. Laneru Road East Cave. Okay. Laneru Road East. Alright, that's another one down. If you enjoyed the little adventure you just watched, there's another here for your viewing pleasure. Or, if you want to see the journey from the beginning, click on the playlist right here. I love you all. I hope you have a great day. Be safe. Bye!